Hello and welcome back to A New Herbit Here, episode 236. My name is Tom. And my name's Ant. And you can find us at abhpod.com, right? Yes. It's reverted, yeah? It's changed now. It has changed. I don't have to do all that Podbean stuff. No, but that does still but work. that does still ABH work. Pod. abhpod.podbean.com. There you go. I remember it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, where? Yeah, you're on the right-hand side there. You can find an Amazon banner. It's uh, January sales still, just about. Yes. So, uh, so head on over to Amazon through the link. And uh, whatever you spend, we get 5% off for no extra cost to you. It just keeps us solvent uh, enough to renew our subscription to the internet. Yeah, I'll buy no equipment. Um, also, on that right-hand side, uh, above the Amazon banner, there is the option to become a patron. Um, that is, sort of, I suppose that is probably our preferred way mm. of doing things, because although with Amazon you do get something back for doing it, with Patreon you get something directly from us. Um, so for as little as a dollar a month you can opt to pay more but we do have just that one tier which is a dollar a month um, you will get extra content um, sometimes yeah we've sort it's of been, been lax Christmas. over Christmas it, it's been know, a bit difficult to do it but sorry. you do get extra content so you'll get an after the podcast podcast which only goes out on the Patreon feed um, you get spoiler casts if and when we record them but they'll go out on the Patreon feed the, time, at the, the same day we record it yep. um, whereas it would go out on the main feed when we need a break yes. um, or we've got an event coming up that we can't get together and record um, we'll put it out on the Patreon feed but you'll get it on the Patreon feed as and when we record it uh, YouTube videos when we do them when we start them up again will be you'll get them a week earlier or a couple of days earlier depending if they're holiday specific like the mm-hmm. Halloween one was a couple of days um, but the, the best thing about Patreon I think is the fact that with all the audio content, you get a, your own like private RSS feed, which you will subscribe to. That you you'll paste that in your whatever podcast app you use. You paste that in there, and it will just deliver all the content, um, including this episode, without this rambling intro. Yes, yeah. uh, it goes up as well. Um, although there might have to be a little intro to this one on the Patreon one. Um, but yeah, become a Patreon. That is the best way to do it, and we feel like we are rewarding you for giving us the money and it just like we say it helps pay for any hosting fees any equipment we might need to replace which we might have to do fairly soon because as much as there were technical issues with the last episode they appear again in this episode at about the 30 38 40 minute. minute mark yeah and then again at about an hour and 10 around about an hour and 10 you'll hear them coming because it starts crackling and then it gets progressively worse it's only over like the course of two or three minutes but it is a horrific sound and we apologize but massively like without going back and re-recording an episode which we really really dislike doing yeah um plus it could crop up again yeah exactly there's no promise it won't happen because we don't know what's wrong Mm. Um, so, so we're just going to replace some equipment and yeah, hope, hopefully we're gonna, that'll work. Essentially, it's either the desk we use or it's uh, one of the leads that goes into the laptop, the USB. Yeah. Or uh, we don't we don't really know. So we're going to, you know, next episode we're going to change some stuff around. Yeah. Bring new equipment in. And hopefully that will See whether that works. It. But yeah, we can only apologise. Profusely. Profusely for yeah. the last two episodes. Um it's annoying. Yeah, we were hoping it was just a freak um, one-off thing last time, but yeah. it, it cropped up again. Yeah, but so we caught it this time. We, we, we heard it before the episode went out, yeah. so we can apologise for it now. Yeah. Um, on this episode, you'll be able to hear the vast majority of the episode. Yeah, like the we say, it's only like four or five minutes in total. Yeah, but. We, we kind of, we talk about Brexit, but only through the prism of not wanting to talk about Brexit. <laughs> As always. <laughs> Uh, we discuss whether old people should be driving um, as a result of the news of Prince Philip uh, this week. Uh, we talk about kind of films that we've seen in the interim and films we want to see that are coming up. There's a little conversation about conspiracy theories as well. And and the weird like things that people are putting in space. I mean, it all kind of rolls into one, doesn't it? It's, it's a, a big kind of what the hell is going on in the world, essentially. Yeah. Um but yeah, so as I say, you've been warned there's a little bit of Brexit chat now, but it's only about 10 minutes. Enjoy. It was um, it was quite good that 
something else took over the headlines this week other than Brexit. Because Brexit was a pretty big... There was a big... The last two weeks here, there was a... It was, you know, something significant happened and yeah. then didn't. And then didn't. Yeah. Um, Marginally, what... though. I mean, yeah. only just squeaked through that she's still there. Yeah, but it should stand. Yeah, it I should know. stand. I know it was only marginal vote, yeah. like numbers, but anyway. But, yeah. well, it was quite a big, it was quite substantial, her... Um, the, the actual The no plan. confidence vote. Yeah. In but the... The, the, the plan itself yeah. only just yeah. was ousted. Um, no, it was the other way around. The plan was voted down by everyone. Like a two hundred and thirty odd. Oh shit! Yeah, no, it, it was, was one her. by like two thirds <clears throat> to a third, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So yeah, and it was yeah. her staying in was a marginal. Yeah, I, I, I think we should, you know, have another vote. <laughs> 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 but the, the, I mean, the brief. I think because <laughs> we didn't want to start talking <laughs> no. about this. But I think the fact that it was voted down by like more than a third or two thirds or whatever it was, it was yeah. like sixty six to thirty three, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and then for her to actually stay. Was a bit fucking weird. Yeah, but again, it comes down to the fact that no one else really wants to be doing that job at the moment. Yeah, as like... as an, an as a sort of uh, it was a, it's a likeness to like people standing in the crowd of a football match, going, "What the fuck are you doing, you fucking prick?" It's like yeah. you get down and do it. No, I don't no, want to do it. I'm just saying it. you should do it. Better. They're getting paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like that, isn't it? It's like everyone's going, "No, we don't want to fucking listen to our plan." And like Jeremy Corbyn's like, "Well, somebody else step in there." No, 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 we'll leave her in it. We'll yeah. leave her in. I, I don't want to do it. Yeah. It's like that and. It's just, it's childish, isn't it? It is, and and actually, I don't know whether you watched it. I saw bits. I can't. On. I don't like the speaker. No, he's a he's a knobhead, isn't yeah. he? Um, Order! Order! And they're, they're talking about blocking his peerage now because he's uh. biased about Brexit. Yes, and that he's a Remainer. Yeah, he says a lot. As what the Conservatives Party, he goes, "My right honourable gentleman, who I admire very much, and I mm, think he's a yeah. great man, and he's got some good." Like you, you can't say that. Mm. You've got to be unbiased. They're supposed to be impartial, aren't they? Yeah, uh, uh, impartial is probably a better word than unbiased. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's all it's, it's all anyway. Relative. It's dumb. But uh, yeah, they just act like fucking idiots. Like, it's our country's future, and they're arguing. Yeah. like they're on a playground. It's yeah. Uh, but yeah, but something else like uh, I don't think that old people should be allowed to drive when they get past a certain age. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? There's no fucking killing that bloke. No. Not that we want to. No, he's but... virtually indestructible. But I do wonder whether this is going to be the thing that begins a decline. Yeah. It's Pri- it... Prince Philip, this is. It's either he shouldn't be allowed to vote or the other one I heard is um, Elizabeth is getting a bit careless. Like she's not, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> she's not quite as uh, good at ousting people as she used to be. <laughs> yeah, uh, that she's... was a dodgy tweet I saw, it, but it was really funny. <clears throat> but yeah, so Prince Philip went out for a drive and got hit coming out onto a main road yeah. by a car that was clearly doing much more than the speed limit because it pushed a Land Rover over onto yeah, the yeah. side. Those things are solid. Yeah, so <clears throat> who's at fault? We don't know yet, but the police, interestingly, are treating it like a regular like traffic incident in that they're investigating everyone. Yeah, which is yeah. Should he be driving? Mm. No, I genuinely believe, like you know, as you age, yeah, your senses slow down and your reactions. Of course, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't really, you know, your mind wanders. People's minds get a bit, you know, Um, and. I just I I, th- I almost feel like when you get to retirement age, there should be a, a mandatory retaking of the, um, the driving, driving test. test. Um, almost, and I don't know. I mean, there is the. I think when you get to that age, your driving license doesn't last as many years. Like you have to renew it more often. But you don't actually. Do you have to actually take any tests to get it I don't renewed? Believe That's so. the thing. I don't think so. Um, um, but, you know, you've got, if you go to the doctors and you get diagnosed with something that would affect your driving, mm. then the doctor will give you a note and inform you that you have to report it to the DVLA. Yeah. And if you don't, then, then that's on that's you. That's on you. If you there can is get then in a lot of trouble. Subsequent for it. accident, you are yeah. massively liable. So I know sometimes the doctor puts forward and I'll probably contact the DVLA themselves saying, I believe this person should be retested. Mm. Um, but I think there should be like a mandatory, maybe. I don't know. It shouldn't be annual, should it? Because uh, no, but maybe every five years. Yeah, 
And I almost, I almost feel like it should decrease in time the older you get until it gets to every year. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like and by the time you're 80 or something. Yeah, then it should be annually. <clears throat> and obviously we're not talking about the full driving license. It's just like the basic, the driving test. It's like the... Yeah. You know, Almost manoeuvres like and things like that. It's just like, and also has a perception and all that kind of stuff. You know, yeah, put yeah. them in front of a screen yeah. and watch out for the danger signs. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That, that that kind of thing. But there or, should be some some form. Of, yeah. And I'd be quite happy to do it. I'd, I'd probably <clears throat> grumble about it, but yeah, but then I think, someone would play me this back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's you know, it's one of those things. No one wants to admit that they're getting a bit doddery or whatever. But the guy's 97. I mean, how is... And he's driving himself. Do you think he gets a letter from the Queen on his 100th birthday? It would be quite funny, wouldn't it? (laughs) To be fair, I think he probably gets a letter from the Queen on every birthday. But, you know... Yeah, but, like, the... Does he get the official... That official one. (laughs) The official Christmas card or birthday card from the Queen. Because she's not far off it either, to be fair. She's... She's a couple of years younger than him, right? Is she only... I think she's... Is she in her 80s? Or is she in her 90s now? I, um, I thought she was a, quite a bit younger than him. I don't know if she's sub, like substantially. Yeah. I don't well, know if it's a decade or. What. Let, let me let me just check. But yeah, so essentially, yeah, Prince Philip driving himself gets into a car accident, at like so, like quite a serious one because oh, yeah, yeah. the car was pushed over the onto car was its side. Over. And I think she, the Queen, actually, cause she, <laughs> what is it, she, the Queen of Sheba? No, England, actually. I think she. Um, <laughs> She does go out driving as well. I think, like mm. the Queen enjoys driving. Mm. I'm, I'm sure there's something like he's not supposed to be driving. I'm, I'm sure this has been brought up before, like in the news about Prince uh, Philip driving. Yeah, yeah. I know that um, he used to go off driving around London back in the day. Yeah, and kind of cut people up and things and drive like a bit of a wanker. Yes, back in the day, but. Um, yeah, I I think it just it feels to me like this may well be getting towards like the because he's had a couple of infections recently, hasn't he? And like he's not been well for a few years. This is what I mean. Like when I say there's but no he's killing in, him, he's I've said it a lot. I said it, and my, my, like Liz was just kind of like, "And you can't say, well, no, but, but no, but, but really, <laughs> genuinely, like he's been really ill. He's had operations. Mm. You know, he's had this car accident. Like this car accident, he's fine. Just a bit of bruising. Yeah. His car was turned over. Yeah, like normally you get massive kind of uh, injuries in those kinds of accidents. She's ninety two, by the way. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he's ninety seven, so five, so it's five years, years between them. Okay. But, um, yeah, I wasn't sure if there was quite a decade or if it, but you know, mm. half a decade then. <clears throat> but um, but yeah, so that it was quite refreshing to have something else to think about, even though it was quite a nasty thing that had happened. Yeah. yeah like yeah. no one, no one died. It was amazing. There was a child in the other car. Yes. Um, with, I assume, the mother and the grandmother. There was like a 28 year old mother and then another woman who was in her 40s or 50s. Who was it? Was it Kathy Burke posted a. Um, she posted a bit of a. I, I don't know if it was a tweet or if it was just a statement. Right. She's usually quite. <laughs> Kathy Burke brands Prince Philip a selfish cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say she's usually good for a laugh. <laughs> Com- comedian Kathy Burke has today launched a foul mouth rant against Prince Philip uh, after his car crash. Uh, the Harry Enfield and Chums star fired off on Twitter and slammed the 97 year old following the crash near Sandringham, Norfolk, yesterday. She said, Very pleased that the nine month old innocent baby wasn't killed or injured by the 97 year old selfish cunt. <laughs> I've got a feeling she's not a royalist. Uh, Gonna yeah, be honest. I, I, I think that that's probably a <laughs> foregone conclusion. <laughs> but in all honesty, she's right. Uh, yeah. He probably knows he shouldn't be driving, yet he still went out and did it anyway. <coughs> yeah. You'd say it about anyone that drove without insurance or drove without a valid MOT certificate. Absolutely. And and it's more than likely that the fault of the accident Lies with him. Lies with him. It could well be that that other car was doing more than the speed limit because the speed, although the speed limit on that road, I think, is something like sixty. Yeah. Which they're looking at getting has already been looked at as being revised on that road. Yeah. Before this. Before this, but obviously now it's such a high profile thing that they're going to have to do it. But they're still only going to reduce it to fifty. That would still not, you know. (laughs) 
it yeah. nothing would really change in that kind well, of like situation. Breaking distance and reaction distance is like an exponential curve with that, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the faster you go, the That's higher true. it. Yeah, the, like yeah. the the more it sort of the the, the further you need to start. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so like even t- at that speed 10 mile an hour would make a substantial difference, I think. Mm. Um but generally if you you know, being a driver, I like to think I'm a safe driver, but very occasionally if you get onto a 50 or 60 mile an hour road, you do kind of push it. Yeah. Because they're usually open, quite open, wide open roads, they are, aren't yeah. they? So it You've encourages great... you to go faster. And... <laughs> encourages? <laughs> no, it does though, <laughs> yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Because like the weird thing is it's like the main road out here. Yes. Um, It's really, really wide. Yeah. And 30, going down it at 30 Seems feels really slow. slow because the road is so wide. Everything appears to be passing you at a slower rate. You feel like... You've got the time to yeah. react to the stuff, but the way the UK works, it's a residential street. Yeah, there are houses all the way down the way it. Down. Thirty miles an hour is the limit. Mm. So, uh, but it does seem really slow. Yeah, and I always feel because I try. I genuinely, genuinely, I do stick to thirty coming down here. But there's always people right up behind me trying yeah. to pressure me to go faster. No, I know it's ridiculous. I've had it in the morning. Um, you know, maybe about five or six when I've been leaving to go to a thing. Yeah. And there's no one on the roads and I'm doing 30. I've had someone come and overtake me. Yeah, they do that on there as well, yeah. Yeah, because there's so much room that you can actually do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty annoying. But also, there used to be police cameras, the vans. Yeah, they used to park along there, didn't they? They, I haven't seen one in ages now, but you never know. Yes. So it's always worth it. But... um, yeah, yeah um, I just yeah, I, I just think that people over a certain age should be tested because clearly, you know, there's a call for it. But I, I, I have the feeling he's not going to be driving on his own anymore. And it's difficult. Cause the thing is, because he is like, he's the <coughs> he's, Queen's husband. Yeah. So you know he has handlers, like yeah. he has people. Yeah. And he would have been like, oh, just popping out for a drive. Yeah. And you would know that he'd be like, uh, is that a good idea, sir? Mm. Like they let him go out yeah. and drive. But also, like, if he says he's going to do something, it's he's just going gen- to it's do gen- something. Very good, like, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no, you don't say no to a royal, do you? Um, <laughs> no, you probably, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> no, because like know. if if he came up to you and said, "Do you mind if I shoot you in the arm, good chap?" You'd be like, "Yeah, go for it." <laughs> well, Prince. <laughs> yeah. you said you. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I probably wouldn't let him do that. I'm going to be. Honest. Yeah. yeah. And I hope it never comes to that. Because <laughs> I've got, com- got, got a feeling. Got a feeling. It probably won't. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, just nice to have something else in the news other than Brexit. I yeah, because it's sort of the following day, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had some pretty good, like, some of our American friends actually <laughs> tagged us in stuff on Facebook to do with Brexit. True, yeah, um, yeah. It seems like cold. everyone's talking about it. I mean, I was in um, I was in Morocco last weekend yeah. and um, I got picked up from the airport by a representative of the company that was taking me out there and uh, like virtually the first thing after all the pleasantries, he was like, so how's Brexit going, this Spanish guy? <laughs> and I was like, I, I literally have no idea yeah. what's going on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, "It's all anyone. It's all anyone talks about in Spain." Really? It's you know. And I was like, well, "Why?" <laughs> it does affect them. But yeah, I suppose really uh, the the answer to that is that there's loads of expats in Spain. Yeah. You know. You know? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of uh, people retire or to the to, to the to, south of Spain. Yeah. Um, Costa del Sol <laughs> kind of area. Yeah. Yeah, there is a this this air of like nobody really knows what's going on anymore. No, and I think not every, even the people in charge of it. Yeah, and just everyone seems really fatigued by it. I know I am. Yeah, I literally don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I don't want to think about it anymore. But it's just everywhere. It's like you can't it. avoid it. Yeah, and unfortunately, being pod, we kind of have to have an opinion on it. If yeah, it's not. but the problem is our opinion hasn't changed in three no, years. We still feel the same. <laughs> Hey, what was some of the posts that we were tagged in? Like I know Michael from uh, Nerd Church yes. tagged us in. It was like an animated GIF, and it was like the it was a cat and its owner, That's and the right. owner was the EU, and the cat was Great Britain trying to let the 
the... and like they open the door for the cat and the cat just sits there yeah even though it's been pouring yeah yeah pouring over. pouring pouring they open the door and it just sits there and doesn't come in mm. which is a very that is quite a good representation of what's going on what's happening yeah um but uh yeah i think i think people can feel it's all coming to a head yeah but the problem being is that there's not going to be an agreement on any kind of actual deal because it just none of it none of it works for everyone yeah. and the problem is everyone's got their own individual idea of what brexit should be because brexit means brexit but brexit isn't actually a fucking thing brexit means brexit <laughs> but what does brexit mean yeah. like yeah, that's yeah. the problem there is no definition of brexit because it's yeah. never been done before yeah and also um you know on the on the night she was kind of saved by um the tories that don't like her plan but don't want a job yeah. Uh, she was like, oh, well, I'm open to speaking to the leaders of all the other parties. And it's like, well, this is the first time in three years that Perhaps you said you that. you should have done that before. Maybe, like, the fact is, uh, Corbyn is pro-Brexit anyway. Yeah. You're pro-Remain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, there's other people with different ideas, and why not get everyone? Because it's about the country. It's not about you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's like, you know, and and that's, that's, the, that's the problem, is that this whole thing has been done by people who either don't actually believe it but need to do it because they're the only one left in the job yeah. or um, people who are out looking for themselves and getting like some personal gain out of it. Yeah. This is the thing. It is like a majority of the politicians want to steer it into a direction that benefits them. Yeah. Um, she. So <clears throat> she's, she's Remain, mm. but unfortunately she's heading up the party that's in power when it was decided we're going to leave. Yeah. So she has to try and deliver a, like, a deal that she's happy with and everyone yeah. else will be happy with. Yeah. But because she's pro-Remain, her deal that she put forward pretty much keeps us In, under EU rule, yeah. but without the membership. Yeah. So, so, so we're got, getting the same... So it's going to be the same as it was. Cause yeah. She wanted to stay, but we're out. But we have Whereas, literally no... Uh, power. We've yeah. got no vote yeah. on the rules we're having to follow. And mm. yes, that's only for the transition period, but... It, it's true. Um, whereas Corbyn sort of wanted to leave, he changed his he changed his mind at the end, didn't he? But I, well, he <sighs> yeah, he I mean he's never there. been he's never been too vocal with what he actually thinks, which because... is what a lot of people's problem with him is. Yeah, yeah, because he's vocal about everything except yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> so he's he's like he he initially came out saying he was pro leave, but mm-hmm. he's heading up the party where most of the people wanted to remain. Yeah, in that party, because my opinion so, of him is massively changed changed really? since about three years ago because he's just not done anything he's not been an effective um opposition leader he hasn't led anything because he hasn't put forward any alternative he really has no no he shout he'll, he all he does is kind of shouts down what their ideas saying, or yeah, her but ideas it's like well all right well why don't you come to the table with something but he's not he basically doesn't want to take part in any debate about Brexit unless no deal is taken off the table. Yeah. But actually, the more I think about it, the more I think no deal might actually be the best option. A clean break. no deal doesn't mean we get nothing. Yeah. It means that we default to the World Trade Organization rules, which is what I believe Norway has. Right, yeah. And they're doing all right. And they're doing all right. So, like... It actually would give us complete autonomy yes. to trade with whoever we wanted. Yeah. Where we have they, where Europe has no say in like, oh no, you can't do that because you're still part of our yeah, trading yeah, yeah. block. And it's like, well, actually, the, no deal to me is sounding more and more appealing. Yeah, which is weird because that's the only thing, on my opinion, that's changed. Yeah, it could. Like, the thing is, a lot of people are scared of the No Deal because it sounds scary. Yeah, because they've could, said it it's be no disastrous. deal. Because they haven't. They don't say reverting to WTO yeah, yeah. trading rules yeah. because that sounds nebulous and kind of. But it sound, it doesn't sound as scary as No Deal to me. Which is why they call it a No Deal. Yeah. Which is why because they're using they don't that, want it's scary. To, yeah, because they don't want you to think that No Deal is a good option. They want to go with the you know she's obviously pushing her deal. Yeah. But and Corbyn, <sighs> although he has no idea, just wants you to not like her idea. Yeah. Yeah. Without giving anything back, at least like um, Vince Cable or is it Vince Cable is the oh, sure. Lib Dem guy. Is saying that you know he would reverse Brexit. At least he's got an actual stance. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, he's never going to get anywhere because they're like the fifth. That's why he can say what yeah, he wants. Exactly. He's not going to do anything. <laughs> this is the thing. It's like I've, I've said on here before, like when I take those online tests, who should I vote for? Mm. My my personal beliefs lie heavily, like m- more so with Lib Dem right. policies yeah, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Rather than a, but the problem is, I'm not going to waste my vote like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> but that's the problem. It's like if everyone feels mm. like, well, I'm not going to waste my vote on them because yeah. they're never going to win. It's like, but they might if all of us who think we're wasting our vote vote for them. Yeah. So it's so. <laughs> it's yeah, really. <laughs> it's stupid, kind of stupid, isn't it? I, I, I genuinely, I think like the whole political system, people are just seeing that two party politics doesn't work. And this is the thing, we criticise America for having a two-party yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, but we which they basically, don't, no. And neither do we. No. But because it's always two parties. Yeah, but essentially it is because Labour and Conservatives are the only ones who ever really get enough support. Yeah. Like, um, uh, it, it's always like the Democrats and the Republicans. Yeah. There are other parties, yeah, yeah. but they just don't get a look in because then they're, they're kind of, not niche, but... Yeah, I mean, like when Green Party first came about, they started <clears throat> rising quite fast, and everyone's yeah. gone. Well, they never get so they've fallen the way of the yeah. Lib Dems. And then UKIP did quite well around about but, this yeah. whole time. Uh, they did quite well in a couple of elections ago, but the last election they got virtually fucking nothing. Yeah, because which, they because, achieved. Yeah, their point for existing is gone. Plus, their mouthpiece had gone. Yeah. Although he's still an MEP, like he still has to he's go to a Europe. Prick. Oh my god! <laughs> we want out, but I'm not giving up my seat on the European Parliament. Yeah, like, what? What a fucker! At least, da- at least David Cameron had some sort of level of um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm sure, it begins with an I. Integrity. Integrity. Like he's like, well, I I want to remain, but right, yeah, Britain yeah. voted leave, so I'm going to step down because I can't head up a party. Who or I can't head up a country whose beliefs I don't, don't lie in line with mine. Yeah, and he like, can't which deliver. Is great, whereas... he, he wouldn't be able to deliver a deal that he doesn't agree with, yeah, yeah. which is what Theresa May, May is, is doing. To do, yeah. <laughs> but only because all the pro Brexit guys stabbed each other in the back and took each other out. And fuck that. You know, <laughs> step down. Yeah. Well, they probably said, "Yeah, we won." Um, oh fuck! How do we do this? Well, Shit! Yeah. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Right, I'm stepping out. I'm well, not. I mean, it was obvious from the start that no one had a plan. So she did the right thing, I suppose, and went, well, I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give it the old college try. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's it. So, like, David Cameron has some integrity <clears throat> with it, whereas Nigel Farage went, we want out of Europe. Yeah. Aren't you still on the... Yeah, don't talk about yeah, the fact I'm still here. Uh, you know, but I, I get to go there and talk about how great Britain is and, you know, tell them that they Make need great. us more than we need them. Make and, Britain yeah. great again. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a mess. This country. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. America. But Two of it's... the greatest, pow- biggest powers in the world. Mm. Um, mm. But, you know, I mean, I saw, uh, I, I, I shared a, um, a clip from an Australian news report the other day as well, mm. where she basically summed it up. Yeah, really I saw that this morning. I, saw, I did see that. Oh, was it last night or this morning? I saw it, mm. it popped up on mine, but I haven't actually watched it yet. It's uh, it's pretty intelligent what she says. She's just like, right, this is happening, like, yeah. because the people of Britain voted this, and the politicians are trying to make it work, but they're not because they're not like. And she lays it out. I can't. I yeah, would yeah. be. I would be wrong to try and paraphrase it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, she basically kind of lays it all out, and you're like, yeah, it's it's stupid, isn't it? Why aren't they just doing? Why <laughs> why haven't they got on with it? And this is the thing. Like, I'm not even angry at Brexiters anymore. It's the politicians that have just prevaricated the process for so long. I'm not angry at Brexiters, like the Brexit voters, because of what they voted. They were mm. voting on what they thought. Yeah. Like they didn't know what they were mm. voting on, essentially, but that's a fault of the government, like you say. Yeah. What pisses me off about the Brexiters is like if you post anything about yeah, Brexit yeah. now, they turn around and go, oh, I'm tired of all this shit. They should just get out and <laughs> yeah. just fucking. It's not what we voted for. And it's like. Yeah. Take some fucking responsibility. Well, I might have broken that vase, <laughs> but I ain't fucking fixing it. Like, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. That's yeah. not a grown up way to look at it. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Try and understand what you voted for instead of going, well, fuck it, it's taking too long. Yeah. Well, no, when you voted, they said it would be like two or three years. At like, least. That, that was the whole mm. 
Is it four years now? Um, the process? Yeah, something like that. I mean, the thing is, like, it's taken nearly three years to get to a place where we still don't have a fucking plan. Yeah. Like, and then we actually have to, the, the country has to go through the process of actually leaving yeah. and disentangling all the laws and making new laws for this country that replace the EU laws that no one wants, but no one knows what they are. But, you know, they're oppressing us in some way, shape or form. We're still going to have laws to replace that that yeah, are yeah. going to be basically the same fucking laws. I think essentially <laughs> where, we're, where we are now is we're two stops away from school and we've got another 500 words to write yeah, for the assignment yeah. that's due in <laughs> today. Like, that's where we are at the yeah, minute. We're yeah. so close. But, like, it's you know, the, but the weird thing is as well, like, the EU is saying, oh, well, you can get an extension. You don't have to leave at the end of March. Are they actually, they put that on the table yeah, now? Yeah, Oh, because I it's thought it was like, f- no, it has to happen. It's been there forever. Oh, like, no, there's no more negotiations, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. That yeah, was it. Yeah. No more negotiating with us. You know what our terms are. But they've said, like, you don't have to get it done because you clearly don't have the time left. They're right. giving us an extension. and So Theresa... luckily you, you, you're an hour early for school. <laughs> yeah. Two stops away, but you're also but an hour you're early. You're also an hour early. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but Trees amazing. like, no, we are leaving on the 29th or the 26th or whatever it is yeah. in March. And it's like, why? Why? <laughs> if you're being given a, an out to kind of fucking get your shit together. Oh, God. Ugh. Because that's not what the people voted for. The people didn't vote for you to sit on your fucking fingers <laughs> yeah. for three years doing fuck all. It's so fucking... Oh, it is annoying. <laughs> this, this is what pisses me off, is we've had all this time. Yeah. And, and that's no why I one. use that analogy. We're leaving yeah. it until the last minute to do our homework. Yeah. Like, we're just going to ha- put it on the teacher's desk unfinished. Mm. That's what we're doing. That, that, and that's what it feels like, isn't yeah. it? You know, and, and literally... I couldn't do any better. no. This is this sort of calls back to well. <laughs> I feel like I might have been able to <laughs> yeah. do better though. That's the thing. Given that three years, yeah. you probably could have learned more about it. And but then, equally, yeah. if I had to, if do, that was your job, yeah. If if my job was to negotiate this country leaving the EU, yeah, I would have sat down. I think I would have sat down with people. Yeah. You know, either from different parties in this country or gone to Europe and been like, look. The people want to leave. I'm not particularly fussed about it, but we need to make it work. Yeah. What's the best solution? Yeah. I, and I think it should have been actually what should have happened is it should have been handed over to businessmen. Yeah. That's what should have happened. And I know that, but like the fact yeah. is, most of this is about trade. Yeah. No, the, the weird thing is, as you said that, I was like, Trump. <laughs> 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 is that oh fuck yeah. actually a businessman being put in charge of some decisions in the country might not be about such a trade. bad idea about yeah. trade not alan about sugar. law they should do the law stuff they should give that to lawyers should have brought alan sugar in <laughs> yeah or something like that richard branson yeah branson would have he knows how to monopolize things yeah yeah he i mean he's a bit of an arsehole but he's well, fucking he's a, successful <laughs> Um, oh god yeah. <laughs> it's that moment of realisation like, oh god <clears throat> yeah maybe it yeah. does make sense to have business people in politics maybe not in charge of the not country not in charge of the country no yeah. because that is corrupt <laughs> yeah so like given those three years if they'd have turned up to your door and mm. gone look we need just anyone Joe mm. Public somebody who like, I reckon not I could have done a better job <clears throat> we're going to pay you mm. you know yeah, to you don't study do... to study trade yeah. and things like that like you now do you don't do you a could... job. This is your job. <laughs> like... Do you think in two and a half years' time, you know, six months before leaving, you could bring us something on the table mm. and you'd be like, yeah, and you'd spend sort of eight to ten, maybe 12 hours a day learning yeah. for the first six to 12 months, just mm. about the trade side of things. Yeah. And then spend a year and a half or two years talking to people, trying to get mm. ideas and yeah. draw. Yeah. It That's just, enough time, isn't it? To me, and these people know about politics already. <laughs> they studied it at uni and college and school. I'm sure it's much more difficult than that, but it feels like I it's could, not. You probably uh, could, yeah, come up with given, an idea. Given that they've had how many Brexit secretaries now? Like five in yeah, three yeah. years. If one of them had just stuck <clears> at it, yeah, maybe if you know David Davis hadn't gone in with no plan to do anything at all, yeah. And then come out and gone, uh, yeah, I I didn't do all that preliminary work that I said I'd done. Yeah. He basically, that was that was the moment that I was like, right, we're fucked. But I did finish the Sudoku puzzle, puzzle <laughs> book. 
<laughs> but the, the, like the photo that typified the entire reaction, the the entire attitude to, yeah. towards this was that one where David Davis was sat down with the European commissioners and they had a massive fat binder yeah. of stuff and he had nothing. Yeah. He had not even a scrap of paper in front of him. And you just think... Mm. Another thing that typify, like it, it's typical of politics these days is when you look at those debates the prime minister's questions all the debates that they've had recently you look at like if the camera's focused on jeremy corbyn you look at the bench behind him mm. how many people are just sat playing on, on their, their phones? phones yeah i know or asleep yeah yeah it's unreal they are so out of touch it like the whole system needs to be re designed yeah essentially um like no mobile phones in the comments yeah and like, i get it you're probably tweeting about what's going on in there but why don't you just concentrate but all they're probably <laughs> tweeting is here here or shout or what they should be shouting out yeah, loud yeah like yeah. that's all they'll be tweeting nothing mm. of any importance no and you've got like the press in there they're inside or they're yeah. watching it online yeah. so they could be tweeting you don't need to yeah like you the, get involved, you have an opinion on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it's weird, but yeah, you see people actually playing games on their phones. That's that's the, yeah. that's the scary part. It's like I know you're there. They're getting to, paid. Yeah, yeah, and I know that you're probably there to talk about one issue that your constituents have kind of come up with. But surely, like, you've got a say in everything that gets said. In yeah, there. yeah. So why not just fucking You have a vote to cast. You You're should only be there listening. for a few fucking hours. They have a vote to cast <laughs> at the end of these debates. Yeah. You should be listening to what you're voting on. Yeah, yeah. As should the public. <laughs> um, uh, but we're um, not going to talk about Brexit No, today. we're not. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're fed up with it. Yeah. Oh, God. But the problem, you're right, though. It, you, you have to have an opinion on it because yeah. it's it's important. <sighs> and and that's, you know, the, the worst thing. I just uh, My favourite thing is tweeting, like when you see something happen and you go, hmm, what a surprise, I didn't see that one coming, <laughs> with like a, a <laughs> reference to a tweet or something you made before, or like a Facebook post. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, like time hop at the moment is the worst, isn't it? It's yeah. like anything in the last three years. But generally it brings up something like, oh, so for like to keep our trade deals, we need to keep our borders open, do we? Hmm, <laughs> that's a surprise. <laughs> I didn't realise that would happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> yes, exactly. It's Yeah, it's difficult to kind of veer away from this subject as well, isn't it, really, I guess? Mm. Um, oh, going back to Prince Philip, apparently he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And yet he still survived. Yeah, again. With just a few bruises. What is, is he, that man made of? Is he of? half cockroach? What is he? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are lizard people. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, Let's God. get on to conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I heard one yesterday, and I don't know where it came from. I, like, um, My daughter, we took her and one of her friends from school trampolining yesterday. Mm. Or they went trampolining. I sat and had a coffee. Um, And we took her, when we took her home in the evening to her parents, they invited us in for a drink. And I was talking to the the dad. And he is really intent. He's one of those guys. He's got the proper, I don't know if it's Kentish or London accent, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. He's a proper bloke, lad. He's a a, a bloke from like South London. Because the thing is, right? The thing is, what what it is. Salt of the earth. But he's one of those ones with that accent who is really intelligent. Yeah. So he was talking about Brexit and he's like, you know, I work in the square mile and blah, blah, blah. And there's so much, like, the square mile contributes, like, makes 60% of the economy, blah, blah. And there's all these companies investing money. So, you know, I don't think we're going to be that bad. It will be a blip. Like, he's one of those guys. He has an opinion. Yeah, yeah. Based however, on... however, we were talking about stuff, and he goes, he, and like it was a conversation in the end. I just caught this bit where he goes, because the thing is, it's like with J.K. Rowling, you know, does she actually exist, or is she just? And I'm like, is what? that a thing? Is that a thing? Because he's he's using it. He's saying because the other thing is, mm. people are saying, is J.K. Rowling a real person, right? Or is it just this? And I'm like, I mean, I've, I've never heard, heard that. One. I've heard that about Shakespeare. Yeah, I've never heard it about J.K. Rowling. No. I mean, she's not as prolific as Shakespeare. Yeah, this is just because you're about conspiracy <laughs> theories, and I'm like, wow, I've never heard that. Because the Shakespeare thing, and if is she's like... not real, there's a very, very, very rich woman out there yeah. pretending to be her. 
Wow, okay. I've, We're going to have to look that up. Yeah. We're going to have to look that up at some point, because that is interesting. Yeah, the Shakespeare, was he a real or was he multiple people? <clears throat> yeah, because basically his signatures never matched. Yeah, neither like, do mine. But do mine honestly. don't either. Have, so, like, even like, when you sign no. for parcels, sign in on those screens. It's fucking I mean, you might as well just draw a line across <laughs> it, you know, for all, all anyone's actually... It's when they it. hand it to you without the pen, you're like, you want me to sign with my finger? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, sure, because that's going to, you know... Yeah. <laughs> um, and just, they're like, okay, yeah. I'm not... <laughs> you're looking at J.K. Rowling conspiracy theory. Did J.K. Rowling really write Harry Potter? Oh. Is OMGfacts.com. <laughs> Seems like a reliable news <laughs> source. Uh, hold on, no, there's a Guardian article. J.K. Rowling doesn't exist. Conspiracy theories the internet can't resist. Really? Yeah. But this is a thing, this then? Is, this was in the Guardian. What, where's the date on it? Um, no, lots of... Yes, I agree, because GDPR... Oh, God. Um, that pisses me off. The the this, this was written on the 27th of October 2017 by Dr. Martin Bellam. Um, J.K. Rowling doesn't, doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. The conspiracy theories yeah. that the internet can't exist. exist. Nor does Finland or the Beatles and NASA and never sent robots to Mars. Just some of the intrigues other than JFK, the internet. Obviously, this article, the Guardian article, is a point in the laugh. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, okay, right. Cool. Yeah. But, but it's, it's just the fact that it's got this thing. thing. I mean, there's, there's bits about the flat earth. The beam was changing. The beam was, yeah. Yeah, but it was actually dark edges. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, the film was great in it. And look like, all these millions. There's, 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 picture, there's pictures out there that make him look different. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, that's because it's taken from a different angle. People look different from a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. The beach. Some drugs. I mean, that does happen. It does. I mean, clearly I didn't realise that Nancy Drew was written by loads of people, all called Carolyn Keane, because that's the way that works. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's it's a film director as well. I'm sensing jealousy, mm. <laughs> possibly, it's... or a lack of imagination from a film director. Like, I, I mean, how... <clears throat> The, the Harry Potter thing did seem to come out of nowhere. Yeah. Admittedly. But I think that's because we were probably too old for the books. Yeah. And just 
they I, I certainly they passed me by I'd never heard of it until the first film came out no I didn't um, I was saying yesterday that I first found out about Harry Potter because I was sat in a cinema with <coughs> my friend Helen mm. I can't remember what film we were watching at the time but the trailer for the Harry Potter first Harry Potter film came on mm. and she got really excited I'm like what's this what are you she's like you've never heard of Harry Potter no I've got to lend you the books so right. she lent me the books and I read them quickly because I really enjoyed them mm. um but yeah, I've never heard this. No. Yeah, so I found out about them at the same time as the first one. It was because my daughter's friend was like, oh, my brother was alive when the first film came out. I was like, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I people do that. <laughs> um, I had this moment where I realised that there's a girl, or she works at the she works at the hospital I work on, in a different ward. Mm. But she's closer to my daughter's age than my age. And uh, But, like, the reason that, like, because I'm quite friendly with her, like, we're good friends, we chat and, you know... We got on quite well during training. There was a group of four or five of us in this up, but I'm friends with this girl who's closer to my daughter's age than to my age. Mm. I don't like this feeling of being old. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. When um, you realise people born in 2000, like the year 2000, which I remember quite vividly, yeah. are out drinking now. Yeah. Well, it's like um, the new girl at work is 18. She's literally come straight out of school and yeah. clearly was born in 2000. Yeah. And it's just terrifying. It's horrible. I don't <laughs> like it. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's J.K. Rowling, because I know that there's a lot of authors, I know like Stephen King, mm. not only did Stephen King write a lot of books, he also wrote other books under a pen name. Yes. So he's not as just writing Stephen does King. does J.K. Rowling yes. as well. She um, does that police um, uh, inspector thing. And she's got a Cormac man. Cormac McCarthy. No, not Cormac McCarthy. No, he's a, he's Cormac. a real one. Um, oh, it doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a man's name though, isn't Something it? Something Cormac, or, yeah, yeah. Um, but also, um, I believe the books of John Dies at the end are written by an author, but under a pen name. Mm. Mm. But that's a common knowledge. Like Robert Galbraith. Robert, oh, it's, I'm sure it was Cormac. So, oh, never mind. No, never mind. Robert Galbraith. Um, but <clears> also, uh, Lemony Snicket isn't a real person. That is a pen name. Yeah. Um, you know, so people do do it, but yeah, he said because of course there's that thing with J.K. Rowling not being a real person. I was like, is there <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we found out there actually is. That's weird. Um, yeah, okay. There's lots of stuff for Tom <clears throat> and Ant to yeah have a look into. And from Apparently, Chitone there's Transit. also a time traveler from the future warned us about Donald Trump in 2000. Really, uh, John. Titor was the screen name of someone po posting in internet message groups at the turn of the century, claiming to be from an apocalyptic future where the US had broken up after 10 years of civil war and World War Three had taken place. He was, he said, from 2036 and was coming back in time to get an IBM 5100 computer, which was needed to keep systems running. Titus specifically gives dates for these events to take place during the early 2000s, placing World War Three in 2015 and claiming that the last Olympics took place in 2004. This has not deterred people from still referring to and trying to interpret his prophecies, and he in particular outlined one, outlined one future president who would set out to unite the country but end up dividing it further, undermining the fundamental rights of US citizens in the process. Didn't give a name, though. No. No. <laughs> Again, just... Just some nut job. It's a pretty in, vague, oh, yeah. they're going to try and unite the country, but it's going to divide us. Mm. Everyone was talking shit in forums back in 2000. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's basically what me and my mates did. We went into chat rooms and pretended to be Radio 1 DJs. Or like, wind you know, people yeah, up, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or pull a pedo or something, pretend yeah. to be a young girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I had friends who used to go into like the <clears throat> Christian forums and just start right. spouting loads of heinous shit. Yeah, and yeah. I was never comfortable with that, even at the nah, time. Nah, it's a bit mean, isn't I it? I used to go and join. Like I used to go join in watching them do this stuff. I very, mm -hmm. I don't think I posted anything. Mm. I was just watching it, going, Ugh, "Don't like this." But Peter, our kids were horrible back then. Weren't they? Yeah, remember that whole. Don't give out your real name. <laughs> yeah, look now. <laughs> yeah. Take all my information. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's broadcast our own thoughts and feelings. Yeah, there's other <laughs> every, things every week. Nic now. Nicholas Cage is a time traveller, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a whole bunch of those. Or he's or a vamp Keanu he's a vampire or well. a time yeah. traveller. Yeah. Um. Um. Did you see? 
Any uh, trailers these last couple of weeks? Uh, I must have done because I went to the cinema last week okay. to see The Favourite. Okay, I've never heard of it. Uh, it's the one with Olivia Coleman as um, Queen Anne. It's got Emma Stone and uh, Rachel Weisz in as well. Oh, wow. And oh, Mark yeah. Gatiss. It's kind of a period piece. Yes. Strange kind of art house style film. Because there's another um, royal one, isn't there? Qu- is it Queen? Uh, uh, Mary Queen of Mary Scots. Mary Queen of yeah, Scots. With yeah. Saoirse Ronan and Margot Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, which looks really good. Yeah. Going um, to see that this week as well at some point. There's so much out at the moment. I'm going to see Stan and Ollie this afternoon. Oh, well. yeah. Oh, cause, yeah, because you and Joe are quite... Or is yeah. it Joe specifically? She's already been. Oh, she already yeah, seen it. and so are my parents. So I'm having to... Like, I find myself in the weird situation of everyone else has seen it but me. Yeah. It's not normally the case. Yeah, are you going on your own or...? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. She doesn't want to go and see it again. Oh. She's like, it would be like... I feel like I need some distance before watching it again. Oh, it's one of those films. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense, know. but um, yeah, yeah. into the Spider Verse is out. Oh, I like, went and saw that too. That's really fucking. Is good. it? It's is really, it really, really? It good. does live up to the hype. Yeah, yeah. It's probably the best Spider Man <laughs> film I've ever seen. That's what like, everyone is saying. It's so good. It really is. So I really want to see it. I do really <laughs> want to see it. Oh, so now. Obviously, they have um, Spider Ham in it, don't they? Mm-hmm. Peter Porker, mm. because they can't call him Spider Pig. No, <laughs> because Simpsons <laughs> took that. Now, did you, did you see the Far From Home trailer? Spider Man Far From Home trailer. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so you know it's got the Spider Man theme. Yes, and it plays. I was showing Liz the trailer, and then it did that bit at the end. She went, "Is that Spider Pig?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, That's what I did. I no. looked at it. What? <laughs> but it is. Yeah, it's a spider. It's a, it's a Spider-Man theme. Yeah, like but Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Not, not. Yeah, the, the Simpsons. Yeah, so she she didn't. I don't think she was aware. Which you know, it's fine. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's fine, but it's not okay. Yeah, yeah that does look pretty good though, doesn't far it? Far from home looks mm. really good. Yeah, because mm. yeah. it seems like Mysterio is not a bad guy. But we'll probably end up being a bit bad anyway. But then that's the whole thing with Spider-Man villains, isn't it? Yeah. They're like good guys trying to do a good thing, but then get obsessed with whatever it is that they're doing and become evil. <laughs> but I don't want, because that's the teaser. Yeah. A two-minute teaser yeah. or whatever. Um, but what I don't want to happen is what happened with the Captain Marvel trailers, mm-hmm. where Captain Marvel in the first trailer punched an innocent old lady. Yeah. And then the next trailer... They explain it. They explain why. it. So like, no, if, don't explain it. Which is why I don't want... He seems like a good guy yeah. in this one. Leave it. Yeah, because that, that show has... him being evil. Because <clears throat> mm. that's intrigued me. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, he's he's telling him to stay out of it. He's got it under control. But that's intrigued a lot of people. Did you see Kevin Smith? No, I didn't. He, he did a reaction to it, and he was like, oh, he, he yeah. looks like he's a good guy. Yeah. Because I think that's one of Kevin Smith's favourite um, Spider-Man villains. villains. And he's actually got the bubble yeah. helmet as well, which is cool. Yeah. Um, so I it, reckon it could be a kind of... Um, dragon heart style thing you know where like or it's shark tail type right. thing where he's producing these big kind that's of that's my theory as well and he's that's my theory to fight them because i looked at it i was like is that <clears throat> sandman yeah i thought that too but it's not but it's oh. not because there's a then water there's... version and there's a like an energy version as yeah. well isn't like a green energy version of it too so that but I, yeah i thought well fuck they've they've snuck snuck sandman in there without saying anything yeah, see, that's what I th- I thought. What you did, like he's come in, but sort of like a almost like a YouTuber, like a yeah. five minutes of fame, <laughs> creating these monsters that he can fight. Sorry, oh, sorry, creating creating these <laughs> monsters that he can fight. So he looks like a good guy. And... Yeah, that's what. But I now don't want to see any more like syndrome from the Incredibles. Yeah, exa- yeah, exactly like syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh god, Jake Gyllenhaal has syndrome. He doesn't look dissimilar to Jason Lee either. No, he does <laughs> um, Yeah, sorry about that crackling in the wire there. I accidentally moved a wire that I know is a bit crap. Yeah, but um, yeah. we had some sound issues on the last episode. Some, um, just a little bit. Apologies for that. We had um, no idea. We are kind of doing. We're checking as we're going along 
this time. Yeah. I don't know if it, it would show up as no. we're checking. Say. So we don't know if there's going to be any Fingers until crossed. we finish recording. <clears throat> mm. 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 If it does, then we're probably going to spend a bit of money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a new desk. Yeah. Or we. Or um, maybe. Yeah. Maybe actually pay for some software. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't oh, uh, about. what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, um, I'm really intrigued. I don't, I really don't want to see any more. But I know me, and, and if it pops every up, trailer you will that watch comes more. out, I'll watch. That's it. I, that's what I was with Captain Marvel. I, like, I don't want to see any more Captain. Oh, there's a new Captain Marvel trailer. <laughs> yeah. Straight to it. Like, you just can't, can't help yourself, can you? Yeah. And, and for me, that's a Robin. Sorry, getting distracted. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, Literally, almost. Uh, but I, yeah, so like I I like watching trailers. I'm still excited for Captain Marvel. I, mm. I think that looks great. I think the new Spider Man looks great. Nick Fury's in it, which is cool. Yes, he tranks um Tra- Ned. Ned, yeah. <laughs> is he going to be okay like that? Maybe you want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so like Nick Fury's got like a funny line in that. He's got some funny lines mm. in the Captain Marvel. Because I didn't really expect him to be anywhere. Especially in Spider Man, yeah, like it's not the kind of hero that you would imagine to be on his radar. No, if you've got if you've got Samuel L. Jackson on on your payroll, yeah. though, like yeah. you're gonna use him. Yeah, because I like there was all this like speculation about people's contracts and what what constitutes an appearance, whether it's a cameo appearance after or the it, credits or yeah. whether it's a full appearance in the film or whatever. Yeah, if they but play I've it. Not seen anyone's contracts for a while now but they stopped talking about them haven't <clears throat> yeah, they yeah yeah because yeah. i think like what's the point in capping it well because for years and years there was the whole oh well robert downey jr's only got this many yeah, films yeah. left and... and does that mean that like does does appearing in homecoming does that count and clearly it does because he's in most of the film yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> like... yeah so you got that and i think chris evans was supposed to be yeah. out by now and yeah stuff like that so they probably signed new contracts and nobody's talking about it. Because it costs so much money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are eventually going to have to yeah. get rid of these characters because they're not going to be able to produce the films. I see. I want to. I still want to stick with my theory mm-hmm. that the Marvel Netflix characters mm. are going to be like possibly new avengers mm. which is why they've cancelled the netflix series but the problem is if they do get in the films they're going to have to be watered down versions yes which i'm not too much less keen sex on. not so much gore yeah unless they're just going to do not standalone gore, violence, separate sorry. film series for them mm. like a defenders film series to go along with the avengers it because would... i finished mm. watching daredevil mm. and it's really good and it doesn't make sense that they would cancel it right Especially at that point, <clears throat> although there's a bit that kind of does make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah. I, st- I oh, I'm so it's annoyed. one of those ones where it could, yeah, go either way. I can see how they can finish it there, but also I can't see how they could just leave it there. Mm. So it's mm. one of those moments. So, and it well, is there's so still good. one more series of Punisher, so he may well appear. And Jessica Jones is there? There's another Jessica Jones. They haven't cancelled okay. Jessica Jones yet. No, have they, they haven't, have they? Mm. They only announced the cancellations when they release the next. I'm sure they haven't announced Jessica Jones. No, I don't think they have. They did definitely did Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Luke and, Cage Daredevil. and Daredevil. Which so it only makes sense that they're going to cancel Jessica Jones yeah. and Punisher. Yeah. They haven't but said anything I heard about that Defenders. They were, they were kind of transitioning them to the Disney one, but then it wouldn't really fit no. the Disney kind of. Not at the, all. The, the streaming app, because surely that's kid-focused yeah. more than anything. Surely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it would be good to get more of them, because they, were, so good. they were good. They were good series. Um, I'm sure I was going to go somewhere, <clears throat> but I can't remember. My bad. No, nah, it's <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a bit annoyed that we haven't got on with the third series of Daredevil, really. Yeah, it is weird Not... that I finished it before you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I, I think I'm going to have to rewatch the first episode. It's the only one we've watched, and it was so long ago now. <laughs> yeah, it was when it first came out. I literally can't remember. Well, I can, but... Yeah, we didn't dig our teeth into it like we did the previous series, mm. so... I think it's because you know it's going to be cancelled. Like It doesn't help, yeah. Yeah, 
Like, there's no impetus to get it out the way before the next one comes along. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I felt like that with the last few series of those, actually. Like, we didn't really power through Iron Fist or Luke, Luke Cage. Cage, really. We just kind of, you know... Because previous to this, we've watched, like, one an evening over a couple of weeks, you know? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> or yeah. sometimes two, or maybe even three on a Saturday night or something, yeah. you know? Really binge them, but... Uh... And then maybe it's that. Because you did has, that. That as you know, maybe lots of people are doing that. Because both of us have, you and I have both kind of not really binged the last few series, and then maybe that's why they've been cancelled. No, and we didn't finish <laughs> Iron Fist. We didn't finish Luke Cage either. No. Like we couldn't even. It's difficult because I know you you did really like Luke Cage. Mm. I can see why people don't. <clears throat> yeah, and so like we sort of made our way, plodded through. Mm. Mm. And it's just like, can we do that again mm. with a character we don't really care about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is it going to make a difference? Not probably not. No. So, especially now it's been cancelled. Yeah. What's the point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it just seems weird. I know they did the Defenders where they sort of all teamed up, but mm. other than Jessica Jones, there's been sort of no crossover. And Punisher was in Daredevil, but because yeah. it was so good in that, they made a Punisher series. Yeah. But Luke Cage and Jessica Jones sort of cross over, but like Iron Fist isn't in any of the others. Uh, he was in the second series of I- of Luke Cage. Oh, okay. He did appear in. Oh, that. he did appear in it. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. All right. There has been crossover then. So, yeah. kind of. Latterly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Foggy appears in almost all of them as a lawyer. Yeah. Like you know, he he kind of crops yeah, up. Yeah. So the, from the, time I mean, to like time. in in terms of teaming <coughs> up, I don't think there's been much as. Uh, no. But Luke Cage, sort of Jessica Jones was Luke Cage's introduction yeah. into it. So, like he was there in the first episode, basically, yeah, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was the the barman, wasn't yeah. he? <laughs> so yeah, it's. Mm. Um. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other things that are coming out. There's probably loads. Film wise, yeah, that we might have seen. How to Train Your Dragon Three. Mm. They're always quite good fun. I love How to Train Your Dragon. I like Dragon. those films. I love Child Train the Dragon. Oh, what's that? The boy who harnessed the wind. I don't know what that is? <laughs> Alita Battle Angel is coming out oh, fairly soon. That looks fantastic. I've still not really looked into a glass as well. I quite want oh, yeah, to see yeah. glass. I only, didn't see. But I haven't seen Split. No. So I feel and un- like is it Unbreakable? Unbreakable. I, was, I watched yeah. that years ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not, not... And I didn't really get it at the time. Right. <clears throat> uh, John Wick 3 but I haven't seen number 2 yet I haven't seen any of them I really oh. need to get on that I saw the first one it's really good oh the teaser for the untitled Ghostbusters project I didn't watch it oh, but it... it's um, it's Ivan Reitman's son isn't it Jason Reitman he's like rebooting it but not, not rebooting it he's doing a direct sequel to the second Ghostbusters it's Ghostbusters movie, 3 but is including also the female Ghostbusters I is heard. that well? See, this is the thing I don't think anyone really knows. No, no. It's all speculation, but it's got the classic Ecto One sort yeah. of under a tarp, and it blows up whilst the classic themes, yeah. not the not the Ghostbusters theme, but the classic music. Yeah, like score is playing underneath. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's like I was watching it because I didn't. I've never heard of it. I just <laughs> saw the trailer and I was watching it. I was like, mm. Is this the originals? I read like, about it, but I haven't watched it. Because um, wasn't Ghostbusters three was the game technically wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Ghostbusters in Hell or something, or Go to Hell or something. Yeah, so it's that's an interesting one. Mm. Um, yeah, Elite Battle Angel. So that's something I really like the look of when we saw first got the teasers, and I'm sure we spoke about it because uh. it's the weird. She's kind of real, but she's got massive eyes, and yeah. So since then, I've watched the film, the anime. Oh right, okay, film. yeah. I got the volume one, which is really thick for Christmas, and I read that in like three days over wow. Christmas, and it is a great story. <clears throat> okay. It is so good. But the weird thing is, is she's not called Alita. In now, in the in the in the, the manga that I got, because it's read it back back uh-huh. to front. Yeah, yeah. Um, that she is called Alita because it's the westernized version. It's the translated uh, okay. version. But in the anime, she's not called Alita. Okay. Because that's not what she's called in Japan. Mm. She's not called Alita. That's our version. How of strange. It. Yeah. And the boy in it, I can't remember his name now. 
Let me find it. I can't remember what she's called in it. I can't remember what her name is. I can't remember. In the manga. Yeah. So the boy in it. I'm not going to be able to find him now, am I? <laughs> this is annoying. Why is he not like one of the first. Oh, so he's called Hugo right. in the Western version, hmm. but his name in the J- Japanese version is just Hugo. Okay. So they sort of westernized. Yeah. So they're the westernized <laughs> name. So Alita is what it was called over here and in America. Mm. But over there it's called something. It's just called Battle Angel, I think. Okay. Um, and she's not called Alita. Mm. But it does look fantastic. Mm. It's yeah, such it a does. good story. It's so cool. Mm. I quite like the way that they've um, made a live action manga as well. Yeah. Like where Ghost in the Shell was kind of like, it, yeah. it was quite glossy and sheeny, but this has got characters with the manga eyes. Like they, you know, yeah, she's yeah. got huge eyes. Yeah, she is a manga. You character. can do that now, and I don't know why some of the other live action versions of these haven't done that in the past. Yeah, because what have they done? Like the that's they the start. Aeon isn't Flux. It? Aeon Flux. Yeah. Which um, apparently wasn't great. I never watched it. Ghost in a Shell was apparently not. It was fine, great. but it wasn't really as good as the, the 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 originals. Yes. You still got those, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about them the other day. <laughs> I should probably watch them. Yeah, I will. Um, um, I'm sure they've done some others, but uh, yeah, this one actually looks like a manga. Yeah, um, and it's, yes, again, they're sort of whitewashing it. Hmm. Is she a robot, though? Because, like, the whole thing with Ghost in the Shell is that she's a robot, she's not a Japanese woman, and she was never based on a Japanese woman. Now, (laughs) this is it. With, in this, so the, the, the guy, um, I don't know who the actor, what's the actor, the guy who finds her, Finds a shell. He's a really famous actor, isn't he? Like the main guy. Yeah, I think I've seen the teaser trailer once, so I I really can't help you. You know who that actor, Christopher Waltz. Um, uh, Christopher Waltz, right? Christopher okay, Waltz, yeah, Christoph, yeah. 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 So he plays Doctor Edo. Okay. Um, uh, what his job is, mm. he sort of like if I got my arm chopped off, mm-hmm. he could give me a mechanical arm, right? Things like that, and so it's all much all, like Monsoon Jackson. The uh, podcast mm-hmm, series. Mm-hmm. So if 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 the spinal column is still intact, mm-hmm. like with the brain and spinal column, he could give you a completely mechanical mech body, right? Okay. Basically, so she is like a she's got a head and a torso. He finds right. She was already a mech, mm. so not a mech because they're giant robots, but cyborg, uh, yeah. cybernetic person, yeah. whatever. So you, so yeah, so. Is she real? Partly, most right, kind yeah, of, yeah. yeah. So it's it's one of those. So, so is she the only character with the big eyes as well? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I think she probably will. Be. I'm sure there will be background characters that kind of look mm. like that in the film as well. But yeah, so it's weird because it's not. <clears throat> the thing about whitewashing is that these are Hollywood versions of the originals. They're not the originals. Yeah. And they're not claiming to be the originals. Yes. And so people should be less fucking bothered about it, I think. Um, if Don't dare call them snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going all right wing on your ass. Yeah. Um, but I understand criticisms and certain characters don't make any sense to yeah. be played by Westerners. But if you were really looking for an all Asian cast, why not just have it in Japanese as well and be made by Japanese film industry? It's like true. that's the thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, people really are focusing on the wrong things, I think, in yeah. life at the moment. Yeah. Um you know, I get it. Yeah, you, you, and there are tons <laughs> of Asian actors and actresses out there, but they I, don't I, have I, the box office pull. Yeah, I don't get wound up. Mm. But I can see the argument, like, well, if you've got a character called Hugo and then you change it to Hugo mm. so he can be played by an American. Yeah. I can understand Was that. the name changed in the, in, the, in the American redubs? In the manga. In the manga. 
No, so in the American redubs, like she's not, like I say, she's not called Alita. They oh, keep right. the oh, Japanese name for her. Right. And he is called Hugo. And even in this, like Christoph Waltz's character is still called Dr. Edo. Yeah. Which is not an American name. Uh, no, or German. Or in German fact. name, even. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because that so was the thing about um, Ghost in the Shell and where the whitewashing in that falls down yeah. is that. Scarlett Johansson's character was never a Japanese or Chinese person. She wasn't human. Nor was the uh, partner that she was with in the yeah. police force. He was a uh, westernized. Basically, Neo Tokyo or whatever it was called in that was like a mega city where lots of you know lots of people from all around the world. Like, and live and work, and so therefore the multiculturalism in that actually worked yeah and for me from, from what i understood as well is and i know you could use the argument well but that, that's all the entertainment they've got so that's why they draw their characters like that mm -hmm. is in ghost in a shell especially i think didn't they draw a lot of the characters with western features yes yeah. and they were white yeah because that's their impression and it, again like i say it could be that that well yeah but that's because that's all what's always been forced on them mm. in entertainment so that's why but they it's draw it's not them. though is it like manga is such a massive yeah it's the part. manga artists drawing their characters yeah, to look yeah. like westerners because that's the but then there's a fetish in in japanese culture about western features anyway yes like there are people in japan who get surgery to change their eye shape yeah, yeah. to a more rounder westernized looking thing because actually they find that attractive yes in the same way as i find japanese women attractive yes like yeah, yeah it's just a thing they look because and probably the reason for that is the difference because it's different yeah it's not yeah. what you're used to yeah, yeah. so it, yeah but so that's why ghost in a shell is kind of not an idea yeah. and there's to be fair with elisa there's not been a huge uproar mm. about it mm. so mm. But yeah, it looks really fantastic, and the story is great. Um, I'm it's coming out next week, week after, right? I think yeah, I think it's pretty like soon. The, oh no, no, no! Actually, I think it's the eighth or ninth of February. Right. Um, That's still not that far. Or away. sixth of February. Yeah. Mm. So it's next few weeks. Yeah. And it looks really cool. Mm. Um. Yeah. It does <laughs> indeed. No. Um. Yeah. So lots of stuff coming out. There's a, there's a thing. Talking of Japanese people. Yes. Um, are you sick of nature always doing beautiful things at inconvenient times? Uh, Japanese satellite such as uh, meteor showers, for example. Okay. Um, there's going to be or uh, th there's going to be a test fairly soon by Japanese uh, the Japanese space. Uh, authority they've sent a satellite up that will be able to rain down meteor showers whenever it wants sounds safe yeah uh so how uh the company that invented it astro live experiences has just sent the first prototype to space aboard a rocket for testing from low earth orbit at an altitude of about 400 kilometers the 65 kilogram satellite will eject a load of small metallic pellets around one centimeter in diameter towards the earth what they're made of is a trade secret but they're designed to burn up on atmospheric re-entry like real meteors do producing a shower of colorful streaks of light in the sky visible within a 200 kilometer radius and each satellite will carry enough pellets for multiple shows the project has been dubbed, dubbed sky canvas Compared to natural ones, our meteors are more massive and travel through the atmosphere more slowly, which allows them to be observed for a longer time, Hiroki Kajihara of ALE told Wired. But getting them to do so is technically quite difficult. In order to burn up, they need sufficient velocity so that they need to be shot from the satellite rather than simply released, and the mechanism will do so. Um, the mechanism to do so will need to have as little recoil as possible to avoid sending the satellite shooting backwards into space. What is the fucking point of this? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, who's paying for this? ALE, apparently. Astro Live Experiences. But where do they get the money from? Not a fucking clue. Uh, yeah. What's the point? Uh, so that oh, you can watch... Oh, it'll look pretty. Watch, yeah. 
But what's the point? I, 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 I don't really know. <laughs> Because there's enough meteor showers. There's like 22 meteor showers that we pass through on an annual basis. Yeah, yeah. Like, generally. And they're kind of magical when you get to see them. Yeah, but yeah. the point is, you don't see them every time. So that when you do see it, it's an event. This is like, hey... It's here's, a fireworks show. Know, yeah, basically. Space fireworks. Yeah. Um, um, and, you know, what could be dangerous about putting, like, secret... <laughs> like compounds or sort of secret chemicals oh, into our atmosphere. The, can you imagine the conspiracy theories that are going to come out about it? You know, like it'll be like chemtrails, but yeah. worse. Like <laughs> we've seen what like the gases we've been using and stuff have done to the atmosphere. Like mm. we see what happens by burning coal. How what effect that has. So let's put these metallic pellets that are made of a secret formula into the atmosphere. Yeah, let them burn up and disintegrate within our atmosphere. But equally, like, there's enough fucking satellites and junk up there and you're firing metallic pellets off into the void of space t- no, towards hoping Earth. that they're coming down to Earth. But what if they don't? Like, something the size of a centimetre spinning around the Earth because it is shot out of these satellites <laughs> like a projectile is could well hit any other satellite up there or the ISS or anything. And, and what, and, what and purpose is that satellite going to serve once it's used up its ammunition? That's it. I assume it, I I'm assume calling it ammunition it because it is. Because that's what it is. It's a projectile. They're firing BBs at the Earth from space. <laughs> uh, I assume that it would just fall to fall earth to earth again it would be programmed after it had jettisoned these things but again what's the point because there was a there was a whole thing where um uh last year uh, i don't know whether we covered it or not but um uh, there was something called the uh, the disco ball was uh, launched into orbit no, from new zealand this. and it was basically it's called an orbital reflector and it was a satellite that's just basically made of mirrors. And so, like, it reflects light like a disco ball. And that's in the sky for no reason. And that's at what all. it does. Yep. <laughs> eh? Yeah. And then there was the, uh, and then there was China's, uh, answer to saving money on streetlights by launching what they called an artificial moon that was a massive glow lamp into the sky <laughs> people are fucking like the, the the world has gone nuts and it was like the other day when um the when burger king trolled trump oh, that was about his hamburgers and they were like yeah we're not selling hamburgers today just regular old hamburgers yeah and then Pornhub jumped in and were like wow burger king <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Pornhub <laughs> comments on a troll from burger king towards about the president, the president. Like, and i i literally was like when did we start living in the imagination of some mentally deranged person oh, it's great like all this stuff it's like what i don't get it why are you, why are you putting a thing in the sky to make meteor showers when there are real meteor you know, showers. But after you say about the disco ball, the meteor shower <laughs> thing just seems kind of normal. It seemed completely irrelevant. And then when you talk about China having a big artificial moon so that they can save money on street lights, it's like, what are you doing? What is the break even on that? Like, where do, where do we break even? I don't know. What's your electricity? You know how, like, I know China's a big country. Yeah. <laughs> but you know how. Oh, if you install solar panels on your roof after 30 years, you start making a saving. Yeah. So, after, like, at what point, once you've launched that satellite, which is a giant glow lamp, do you start saving money on street? Probably lights? after the sun has become a red giant and <laughs> I, engulf the earth anyway. That costs millions to send that up there. <laughs> what? I think, I think there was also something that I saw on Facebook where... Um, I mean, North Korea doesn't seem terrible at this point, <laughs> does it? Like, it's gone very quiet. Like, at this point, North Korea kind of seem Almost sane. Yeah, yeah, when you can... Almost. Like, this is, this is Japan, New Zealand and China. There's obviously something in the water down that way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, very strange. Explain that to a caveman. He's yeah. just going all in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, just the concept, concept of mirror would yeah. be difficult <laughs> enough. Exactly. <laughs> but then he's like, oh, uh, the caveman would see some sort of benefit in a mirror. Yeah. But to, to then send it up into the sky and have it rotate so that it kind of glitters around for people who are looking at it through a telescope. Like, what the fuck? 
And then hopefully Andy is coming back on to talk about Monson like, Jackson, Jackson yeah. which is coming into the penultimate episode went up this week. So, so there's only one more left. So by the time he comes on it should be it will be finished. Yes indeed. Cool. And I'm sure he's got like season two sorted and he'll have made another. Probably film. written and recorded <laughs> by now, <laughs> <and> Andy. <laughs> Where I've done nothing. <laughs> nothing. We we have achieved nothing. Yeah. We get nothing. <laughs> But yeah, so many things for you to ponder. Is J.K. Rowling real? What's the point of space disco balls and <laughs> fake meteor showers? Is Mysterio a good guy? Who knows? Who knows? Talk to us this in the next couple of weeks. Help us yes. make sense of everything. Because, <laughs> <laughs> frankly, it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> it's not in my head. It's not in my head. And I thought Brexit's the weirdest thing to have happened. Yeah, apparently not. No. We can plumb the depths further. Um, so, yeah, until next time, I have been Tom. And I've been Anne. Bye! Bye.